welcome to another edition of Mr. Z on TV. Today we're going to talk about acids and bases and when they react, um, that's called neutralization. So today I want to show you a quick demonstration. This is just a round bottom flask. It has some acid and a, an indicator, which is a chemical that changes color when in the presence of an acid or base. This particular one's called phenolphthalein and it indicates anything with a pH above uh, 8 or 8.5. So I've got acid in here, which means uh, acid has a pH of less than 7. And that's because of the ion that it contains. Now that ion is hydrogen ion. We call it an ion because it has lost an electron, which is why it's positive. Now a base, on the other hand, has hydroxide ion, or OH minus. It's gained an electron. And so bases, we list as blue, acids as red, and uh, a base is going to have a pH of greater than 7, where an acid is going to be less. Phenolphthalein only indicates the presence of this guy. So as long as I have an acid in here, I'm not going to see a color change. So I'm going to take some base, in this case sodium hydroxide, and I'm going to squirt it in there. I don't know if that's quite enough. And you can see the color change. The color change happens because the hydroxide ions in the base have neutralized the hydrogen ions and the acid, and there's some left over. Now, because there's some left over, my pH is going to get bumped up above 7. The phenolphthalein interacts with that, changes color. So, can I go back? Well, actually, the reaction between the acid and the base is much stronger than the reaction between the base and my phenolphthalein. So, if I grab some acid, squirt that in there, swirl it around so that the molecules get to hit each other and those ions interact. The acid now has neutralized all my leftover base, brought the pH down below 7, so I have mostly acid in here now, and now the phenolphthalein doesn't indicate anything. Well, so what's going on here, erase that, is I have my H plus ion from my acid, and I have an OH minus ion from the base. Since those are opposites, they tend to attract each other. And since there's only one positive and only one negative, they can cancel each other out. So, if I could put that back the way it was, I have a hydrogen bonded to a hydroxide. Well, now there's two hydrogens and one oxygen. So if we were to write the chemical formula, we'd write H2O. Well, that's water. And where does water show up on our pH scale? That's exactly 7. A pH of exactly 7 means that it's neutral. It's not an acid, it's not a base. Actually, you can see why. It's half acid and half base. Okay, I guess I did that backwards, half base, half acid, and they've, they've combined and they totally neutralize each other. So neutral means right in the middle. That's going to be a pH of 7. So bases are above 7 all the way up to 14 because of the hydroxide ion, and acids, which are less than 7, all the way from 7 down to 0 because of that hydrogen ion. So acids and bases neutralize each other to form water. But there's also one other thing in here. Now, when I have this base, which is hydroxide, it doesn't exist just as hydroxide. It actually exists in the one I used as what's called sodium hydroxide. Now, that sodium at the beginning, which is that Na, doesn't interact with the, the acid, but it does interact with part of it. Hydrogen isn't just H+. Plus. The one I used was hydro, see there's the H, chloric, Cl. So when my hydrogen positive forms, I actually get a Cl-. Minus. And when my OH- minus forms, it leaves behind an Na+. Plus. Change that to blue. So, those two are opposites, Na+, plus, Cl-, minus, so they're going to interact with each other to make a second chemical. So we've got our water, and now we're going to get sodium chloride. That's table salt. So table salt is a byproduct of a neutralization reaction, specifically with hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So that acid and that base will make this salt sodium chloride as a byproduct of the neutralization. So, acid plus base equals water and salt. I hope you learned something. 
Uh, tune in next time. We'll take a look at some other chemistry concepts. For Mr. Z on TV, have a good one.